Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we'll be discussing the history, variety, and utility of what might well be the most underrated color in menswear, brown. <laughs> Seen widely in nature, in everything from soil to wood, animals to human hair, eyes, and skin, brown is a color that naturally evokes rustic settings and connotations. This can promote a homey or cozy feel, but it can also sometimes be seen as plain or common. Today, we're going to do a deep dive on the color brown and discuss why we think it deserves more credit and more attention from men who are seeking to assemble stylish outfits. Let's start today with a few notes on etymology and history. The word has its origins in the Old English word brun, meaning any dark or dusky shade of color. The first recorded use of this word, at least in writing, was in about the year 1000 CE. The current meaning developed in Middle English throughout the 14th century. Meanwhile, in other parts of the world, the words in other languages for brown are often sourced from brown foods, commonly things like coffee or chocolate. Brown has also been used in art since prehistoric times. Speaking in terms of color theory, brown is a composite color, made by mixing together red, yellow, and black, or by mixing complementary colors such as blue and orange or red and green. For more information on color theory, you can take a look at our video on using the color wheel to assemble stylish outfits here. Paintings using a natural clay pigment called umber have been dated to as early as 40,000 BCE. Take, for example, the famous cave paintings located in Lascaux, France. And the ancient Greeks and Romans produced a reddish-brown ink in a color they called sepia that was sourced from the ink of cuttlefish. It was used commonly by them and can still be found in some art applications even today. Let's turn now specifically to brown clothing, though, sticking with the ancient Romans first of all. In ancient Rome, brown was associated with the lower classes or the poor. In fact, the term for the plebeians, or the urban poor, was pulati, literally meaning those dressed in brown. Similarly, monks of the Franciscan order wore brown robes in the Middle Ages as symbolism for their humility and poverty. For example, Friar Tuck in the Robin Hood myth is often depicted wearing a brown robe. And as decreed in a statute put out in 1363, poor English people were required to wear garments made of russet, which was a coarse fabric that was often dyed to be a gray-brownish shade. All the way through the 19th century, the color brown did retain this connotation of being associated with the lower classes or with workwear. Think, for example, of the old phrase, no brown in town. Speaking of that phrase, though, you don't have to adhere to it anymore. We debunked that phrase along with a few others in a recent video on 11 bad men's style rules to ignore, and you can find that video here. Also, brown has been a popular color for military uniforms since the late 18th century because of its low cost to produce and its good use as camouflage in a wide variety of settings. Examples would include the khaki-colored uniforms of the Corps of Guides in British India in the 1840s, the U.S. military from the Spanish-American War onward, and the German forces in World War II. Over the course of the 20th century and up to the present day, brown has shed some of its more negative connotations and developed a more positive reputation, being associated with things that are natural, healthy, and hardy. And while recent surveys in the United States and Europe indicate that few people list brown as their favorite color, its unassuming dependability makes it one of the staples of any true gentleman's wardrobe. With that said then, how can you wear and pair brown in your outfits? The simple answer is relatively easily and across a wide spectrum of outfits in the overall scale of formality, with the only real exceptions being black tie and white tie. 
By the way, if you'd like to learn more about those most formal of dress codes, you can pick up our PDF guides in the Fort Belvedere shop here. Brown and its various shades serve as one of the core foundational base colors in any man's formal wardrobe, along with shades of gray and shades of blue. In other words, brown works to ground an outfit, complementing various other colors and counterbalancing any particularly bright hues you may be wearing elsewhere. In particular, brown plays nicely with one of the other base colors we mentioned, blue. In fact, we've done an entire video on pairing brown and blue together, which you can find here. That video provides a more in-depth analysis of why brown and blue go so well together, but here's a brief refresher. First of all, orange and blue are opposite of one another on the color wheel, an example of complementary colors. Because brown very often has orange tones in it, it works to complement blue in a similar fashion. And secondly, because both brown and blue come in a wide variety of shades, it should be easy for any man to find shades of each color that work well for him. On that note, you can take a look at our video on finding the best colors for your specific skin tone here. Similarly to how brown pairs well with blue, it can also be paired with the other foundational base color, gray. While it's a little bit less conventional to pair these two colors together, just make sure that your garments are harmonizing in terms of both formality and seasonality, and you'll be good to go. As an example, some gray flannel trousers paired with a tweed sport coat featuring brown tones would be good base pieces for a winter ensemble. And, as we stated in our video on rules to ignore, black and brown can be worn together as well, just so long as the formality of the garments is overall in harmony. On the topic of black, though, while we find brown to be highly versatile and underrated, we've also done a video on why black is the most overrated color in menswear. You can find it here. One more color with which brown pairs especially well is green. This is likely due to how often you'll see both of these colors pairing together in nature. You can find our video on how to wear and pair green effectively here. Let's now take a look at brown working in a few outfits at different levels on the scale of formality, starting with the smart casual dress code. Khakis, of course, are a staple of any smart casual wardrobe, as are any similarly colored chinos. And while brown shirts are a bit less common, brown sweaters in various shades and styles are also seen a lot in smart casual ensembles. Moving up to business casual, brown is also a great color for more rustic jackets, in fabrics and patterns like wool tweed, houndstooth, and herringbone. On that note, you can find our video on the history of tweed here, and you can also take a look at our video and guide to houndstooth here. Meanwhile, a shade called tobacco brown is often seen in linen and other lightweight fabrics, particularly for summer wear. We've also got a tobacco brown knit tie in the Fort Belvedere shop, which you can find here. Also, having a few pairs of medium brown slacks will similarly open up several doors for you in terms of more versatile outfits. And, of course, brown is even making an entry into more formal business settings with things like darker charcoal brown suits, such as the one I'm wearing in today's video. And, of course, brown accessories abound for all of these different levels of formality. As an example, a brown knit tie or one in grenadine would be smart pieces to have in your wardrobe. We offer both in the Fort Belvedere shop, and you can find them, as well as many other styles and weaves of ties, here. Also, brown outerwear, including hats, gloves, and overcoats, is a great way to stand out in a sea of black and gray. As a personal example, I get a great deal of use out of both my camel hair overcoat and my mustard brown short-brimmed fedora. Both of these pieces, by the way, are vintage. Finally today, there is one other area where brown is especially plentiful in menswear. That, of course, would be shoes. 
Oxfords, Darbys, loafers, and monk straps are all available in various shades of brown leather, some with red tones as well, and suede can be another good option, which you'll also find in brown. For more information on shoes, you can take a look at our playlist here. As you can see then, brown is something of an unsung hero in the world of menswear. Almost always present, but doing the dependable work of grounding other, more flashy colors. Still, we hope that this overview of brown's versatility will encourage you to give it more thought when assembling your outfits. Speaking of which, what's your favorite way to wear and pair brown? Let us know in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the Gentleman's Gazette YouTube channel and to hit that little bell icon so videos like these can come straight to your inbox. In today's video, I'm wearing an outfit that illustrates the versatility of brown. First of all, my vintage suit is charcoal brown and features a pinstripe in alternating colors of tan and light blue. I've paired it with a pastel blue shirt from Charles Tirrett and a knit tie in mottled brown and blue silk from Fort Belvedere. Also from Fort Belvedere are my boutonniere, which is a prototype design, my cufflinks, which are platinum-plated sterling silver in an eagle claw design featuring lapis lazuli as the stone, and my socks, which are gray and feature a shadow stripe in light blue. All of these Fort Belvedere accessories today illustrate that brown harmonizes well not only with blue, but also with gray. My pocket square, meanwhile, is a dark blue silk that features a light blue accent on the edge stitching. That way, it harmonizes well with both my tie and my shirt. And the outfit is rounded out today with my tan wingtip darbies that feature heavy broguing. This, of course, is just another shade of brown. And with the exception of the boutonniere, all of the Fort Belvedere accessories I'm wearing today can be found in the Fort Belvedere shop here.